bulge in tummy of this aroma as a keen watcher of your fantastic Facebook live sessions. There was not mind. Uh, I wondered if you'd be so kind as to give me some advice on my TT. Happy for you to answer live on Tuesday. Well, just as well, because I am doing. Uh, as it may help others. Um, I had my TT, tummy tuck, uh, five months ago after losing seven stone. I developed a small seroma which was drained once and has now gone. I have, however, been left with a small bulge which does bother me. It's quite soft and I can pinch it, but it's not watery. I did have lipo on my tummy at the same time. I feel that your tummy should be flat after a TT, but my question is, am I being too fussy stroke crit critical? Do you think I may need to ask my surgeon for a small revision? I don't have unrealistic expectations, and I'm aware that after large weight loss, the, doing a tummy TT does mean the surgeon can only give you the best result with what you give them to work with. So would really appreciate your opinion before I send pics to my surgeon. I had mine done in Prague. I really don't want to offend them by saying I'm unhappy with it if I'm being too fussy. Pics below, when I look in the mirror, I can't see the bulge so much. But when I look down at myself, it's then I can really see it. So sent a few pics. Yes, you have sent a few pics and I've seen a few pics. And thank you very much for that nice question and those pictures. I haven't seen them and reviewed your photographs. Um, so it's very interesting. This raises an interesting concept uh, of cosmetic surgery with the concept of cosmetic surgery uh, is that the outcomes of cosmetic surgery are very much driven by the patients very uh, but despite what you might see or read in the media um, complication rate is very low with cosmetic surgery infections uh, wounds opening up talking about those sorts of things the revision surgery is very low and so the most important important and the biggest outcome measure um, in my view is patient satisfaction so you know whether you've done a good job if you've got a satisfied patient or not in other types of surgery you know whether you've done a good job if the blood pressure responds or if the cancer has been completely removed or if they can don't have to get up at night to wee or you know if there, there's some slightly more objective measures the uh, outcome of cosmetic surgery is very subjective and I've looked at your photos and I think you've got a nice result. To be honest with you, I think you've got a nice result. It's hard with photos, though. And this bulge you're talking about might be more obvious in life, in real life. And it might be more obvious when you look at certain angles. But I do think you've got a nice result. I think it's healed nicely and it looks like a good result. But you're not happy. You've got a bulge and you are wondering if something can be done about it. I, My view is that I think any good surgeon would want to know what your concerns are. And you've said here, um, what have you said? Something about you're worried about them thinking you're fussy. Uh, I'm worried about being fussy and I might uh, I'd, being too fussy and critical. I think most surgeons will want to know what uh, patients feel about their outcome and wouldn't want someone to say that they're happy with their outcome and then to go on, you know, Facebook and say, well, you know what, it's a bit of a bulge. I'm not that happy with it really because it's a bulge and it's a bit this and that, you know you actually i'd rather people said to me there's a bit of a bulge i may or may not to be able to do anything about it but at least give your surgeon a chance to say oh that's really easy to fix i'll fix that no problem at all because then you're going to go away and say crikey that guy is fantastic because I, I had a bit of a bulge you could hardly see it and he fixed it with no questions asked and he was brilliant and now i've got a perfect result and i'm so happy and i love it you know so we all want people to be like that we want people to be like oh they're fantastic i love them and they've done a really good job. And if you, so you, I would say, look, you've got to give them a chance to, to him or her. I don't know, whatever. Um, but you've got to give the your surgeon a chance because it might be something that could be fixed relatively easily. Um, and the 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 your job is to say what you feel about the result, whether you like it, whether you don't, what you don't like about it, what you do like about it, and our job as surgeons is to say to you what can be done about that and sometimes we say look you know what i don't think there's anything can be done about it or there is something can be done about it but there are risks and downsides with it i don't think it's worth the risks or at least to explain to you what the risks are so you can balance the risks um to make a decision between the two of us as to whether you it's right for you to have revision surgery so it's fine to express uh, um your opinion 
it may be that nothing could be done, or or at least if you did something, there's risks of causing other problems, which you might be even more happy un, unhappy with, and might give you a worse result. So you might think, oh, on balance, actually, I'd rather not take that uh, risk on. So it is something that you need to talk to your surgeon about, and, and I think you would be doing them a disservice by not talking to them about it. I think they would want to hear about your concerns, and they would you know, examine you in person. You can't beat an ex in-person examination. You know, it's always hard to say, show on the photos to feel if there's a lump. Is there something? Oh, look, there's a lump there. I might be able to, you know, make a little incision and take that lump out. I don't know. Um, and, yeah, so don't feel bad, you know. Don't feel bad. You, 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 you know, paid a lot of money to have the surgery. The surgeon's trained for years to do the surgery and wants to make everyone happy. And if he's or she's not, you know, made you completely happy, he or she would probably want to make you very happy. Um, so, yeah, go for it. I, as I say, I think you've got a lovely result, to be honest with you. I think it looks great, but there may be something that can be done. Sorry, I've um, I've been neglecting my comments. Uh, agree with comments, interesting. Can you have, oh, look, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, pointy head, yeah. It doesn't look so pointy today, actually. Okay. Um, so, yeah, good luck with that. And I respect you and I hope that you get 